Welcome to more coding challenges where I yet again prove I am a complete nugget. Some of you already know me and know that I don't have to prove that at all. Well anyway, I'm gonna try. And I already know how I'm gonna prove that, but that'll come later. For now, let's take a look at important email organization. This is the email inbox of this silly little manager and each of the cubes represents one of his important emails. At the bottom here we have 10 folders labeled 0 to 9. So our other boss told him that we need to sort the emails into those 10 folders. For example, emails with a number from 20 to 29 go into the 2 folder. Hmm, that's interesting. He says he doesn't really understand email, but he's lucky to have such a good friend. Should I tell him or what do we do? As you might already know, these are data cubes and these are shredders, not folders you use to organize stuff. So basically we need to shred all the data cubes, but do not touch those labels at the bottom, because they will explode. Well, that's your first mistake there, my friend, because I don't believe you. Everyone, please go to your nearest shredder right now, pick up the data cube you are standing on. Humor me, do that. <laughs> yes, uh, everyone exploded again. I told you not to pick up the data cubes above the shredders. Alright, with that humor out of the way, let's start. I would probably tell them to remember their starting position, which is um, sort of their nearest wall. And I'm gonna tell them, go to your nearest wall, which is here, then take the nearest data cube, which should ensure they're not gonna pick up those ones, or maybe they are, but they are gonna be the last ones they pick up, and shred the data cube. So let's say, pick up memory 2, so your nearest data cube, and then we need them to shred it somehow. But we need to find out which shredder should they put the data cube in. What we can do is calculate in memory 3 their data cube, the one they are holding, and divide it by 10. This should give us the label of the shredder they are supposed to put it in. So if we take a look at the assignment, data cubes 10 to 19 must be sent to the shredder labeled 1. So if we take like 15 divided by 10, it should be 1. 20 to 29, 27 let's say, divided by 10 is 2. So that all works out. Now we just need to find the shredder. So then we might say in memory 4 is gonna be your nearest shredder. And we can initialize it at the top even. And after they've picked up the cube and calculated the label, we say step to memory 4. So go to the nearest shredder and once you're there you're gonna take a look at the label. So the label you are standing on, if it is the same as memory 3, so the label you're supposed to use, you give to the shredder. Otherwise, if the item you are standing on is lower, then the label you need, it means you're two on the left side and you need to go right, you step right, otherwise you step left. Now, the jumps. You need to repeat the whole process like that. So start at the wall, look at your nearest data cube, pick it up, calculate the label you need to go to, step to the nearest shredder and then check the labels. The jumps here, for sake of optimization and just so it works, should look like this. Once you step in any direction, because you were not at the right shredder, you try again. And this, I believe, should probably even work. This is the working code, isn't it? So they all go to the wall, pick up the data cubes, calculate it. So let's take a look at this person. He's got 96 and he's already calculated that 96 divided by 10 is 9. So now he's stepping to the nearest shredder, which is this one, and it says 3. Is it the same as memory 3, which is 9 in your case? It is not. So you should go to this part and say, I'm standing on a 3, which is not lower than a 9. I'm an idiot. 
I'm standing on a 3 which is lower than 9. So I step right and try again. Am I now at the right spot? I'm not. Let's try again. Step right. And now he should go all the way to the right where he's gonna reach label 9. So again, step right. And now I'm standing on a 9. Is it the same as 96 divided by 10, which is 9? Yes, it is. So what I do is give it to the shredder and jump back to the start. And all the other people seem to be doing it just fine. So let's speed this up a little. But I think it's obviously taking a long time. But I think this is working. I'm a little worried about the end, but I think that they shouldn't pick up the labels here. Oh, oh shoot, they picked up the label. It was almost done. But we need to somehow figure out how to make it not happen again. I think the problem was that this lady was on the left side and the last remaining data cube was on the right side here. And the label zero was closer than this data cube. So what if we cheat just a little bit and tell them to take, let's say, two steps to the right. So that should mean that they are all sort of in the middle. Maybe one step would be better. Let's try doing that again and see if that helps. Almost there, still going quite nicely. And that's, oh, dang it. So again, they've almost done it. Those two guys have the last data cubes, but some other worker was too fast and he wanted to pick another one. So let's just put an if statement somewhere in here. So they pick up memory two and if what they have picked up. So if they have, are basically standing above a shredder at that point, once they picked up the cube, they should just drop it back down and end their code. So this should ensure that even if someone manages to pick up a data cube that is above a shredder, they're just gonna drop it back down, nothing bad happens. Oh, for f oh. Oh. They are not even supposed to pick it up. I'm an idiot. So don't pick up data cube. First, step to memory two. Then check if you are above a shredder, you end your program and you don't even pick it up. And only then should you pick up the cube you're standing on. Now for the seventh time, this I'm sure is finally gonna work. Have some people shredded themselves? I thought we had three workers. I mean, what? What? Why are the people shredding themselves? Okay, th this, this worked. I'm, I'm happy we've made it. Three commands over, sometimes it doesn't work, and it doesn't work because some people seem to die for an unknown reason. Why the hell do they die? Now the game reset us to this position where our solution failed, and it probably fails because everybody dies. So let's try and focus and see why it fails. Now this lady doesn't have a data cube, but still keeps going for some reason and eventually just kills herself. Now how can that happen that someone doesn't have a data cube? That can't happen, can it? Let's try running that again and see when she actually messes up. Oh, I see. So what? So for some reason someone stole her data cube. And then she thinks she picked up a zero. Okay, so right, I now understand. I said pick up the cube you're standing on, but it's possible that someone nicked it first. So let's go back and pick up memory two. Because if in between the stage where she steps to memory two and manages to pick it up, someone else picks up the cube, she is going to re-evaluate nearest data cube. So now it should probably work. At least I hope. It seems it's working. This level is really interesting. It's fun. It's weird. And at the same time, seems really difficult. And again, it doesn't work. Oh, do you know why it doesn't work? I think it doesn't work because it took us long time to complete or something. I don't know. No, it doesn't. It, it's okay. What? Why does it fail? What's your problem, mate? Okay, some idiot again picked up the data cube. What the heck, man? Oh, I see. That's the same problem again. 
I just can't sell them pick up nearest data queue because it might be the one above the shredder. So should I maybe not use the word nearest data queue and just make them do a grid search? That's too difficult. That's ridiculous. Okay, I've tried again. So this time they step to the nearest data queue, check that they are not standing above a shredder, which is the end game when there are no data cubes left, so that their nearest data cube might be the one above a shredder. They try picking up the data cube they are standing on, and if for some reason someone else already picked up that cube, you check if you are currently not holding a data cube, you try again and go to a different nearest data cube. Now this for f sake is gonna work, come on. I already hate the code, it's way too long. But still somewhat simple. Nothing to pick up. Are you retarded? What are you doing? So they need to re-evaluate memory 2 as nearest data cube. It's weird that sometimes they indeed do need to, you know, reinitialize the value and sometimes they don't. So ninth times the charm. Yes, we've done it. Come on, no one fail it. Wow, awesome. So finally we have a working code. It takes 210 seconds. We need to shave off 10 seconds of our solution, which surprisingly might be the easiest part. And we also need to shave off five commands. Now, the part I promised about how I'm a nugget. Now, I would normally start digging into this code and try to rearrange stuff and just change it completely. Someone pointed out that I can just copy the code and that we have those tabs on the top and I can just use a different tab, paste the code there and no matter how bad I mess it up, I still have that original piece of code. So the first step is gonna be the normal code that just passes the level. Then I'm gonna do the optional one of these challenges and the last one is gonna be the last one, there. Now let's try the time optimization. My thinking is that sometimes they are complaining that they have nothing to pick up. So what if I said, if at this point you are not standing on a data cube, you jump, and then hopefully they are gonna pick it up in time. Let's try doing that and see whether we can find someone complaining about not being able to pick stuff up. It doesn't seem like it. Now the question is, is it gonna be faster by 10 seconds on average? And the answer is no, this is actually even slower. <laughs> well, how can that be slower? Another thing that's taking some time is them finding the correct label. We might think of brute forcing it, so like say, if you're standing on a 2, but you actually want a 7, take 5 steps to the right. But all of those combinations, that would be too ridiculous. How many is that? 81 combinations probably, right? 9 times 9. But I might change the order of operations that happens here, because they're probably not going to get to the right shredder at first, so they're gonna have to move. So say, if the item you're standing on is lower, you step right, Else, if the item you are standing on is higher, you step left, and only if it's neither of those, you give two. And you always repeat this loop, and only when you give two successfully, you jump to the star. So here, each time they don't check, is it right? No. Is it right? No. But they first assume that they are the wrong spot. So hopefully that could save some time. In general, an if statement doesn't take that much time to execute, but it's taking them 200 seconds, so it might add up eventually. Okay, no, that again, even slower. How is that possible? This is some bullshit. <laughs> Every minor optimization I put into place just makes things worse. For example, another thing I've noticed is that they're all more on the left side. So once they reach the shredders, probably they're gonna want to go right. So if their item is higher than the label they are at, is the first if statement. I've switched it up. Now I'm realizing that they might go for this cube as their nearest data cube, so it doesn't really work. But now I've thought of another optimization. 
If you step left because you are two on the right, you might just want to try doing that again, right? To check again. Oh, that doesn't make any sense because you would anyway. Okay, never mind. So I, I wanted to put two jumps here. This one might help. If you stepped right, you might want to step right again. For sure, you're not gonna want to step left if you stepped right already. But this jump I think is useless, that's pointless. Anyway, let's keep it in and try again. Once more, this should eliminate a few of the if statements being executed. But last time I've eliminated such if statement, it added 5 seconds in addition to what we already had. Oh, oh, look at that, we're almost there! So I'm gonna put the original if statements back into place. So switch them up once more, which actually shouldn't really have any impact, but it probably does, I don't know. And then maybe we, we might want to put that if you are on the correct spot statement back in. Oh, almost, almost, come on, 201 seconds. We were even under for a bit there. Okay, one more thing. I don't believe that the assignment of a value to a variable takes any time. So I would say probably reassign the nearest shredder here before you step to it. Because at the start your nearest shredder, for example for this lady, is this one, labeled 1. But what if she happens to pick up this data cube? She's gonna go all the way to the left and then begin her search instead of going right here. So let's see if that makes things a little faster. I believe it actually might, although it again goes into play at the late stage of the level and not straight at the start. But it does seem that they are walking less. Okay, didn't help at all. If anything, maybe even slower. You just hate the way that this works. I can't tell them to pick up their nearest data cube because they might pick up the one above the shredder. So I have to do this silly little thing where they step to it. Is it still there? Maybe someone picked it up before you got there. Now are you maybe above a shredder? Then you can pick it up if no one has picked it up and you are not above a shredder. That's silly, but there's no other way to do that. Honestly, I've been here for almost an hour and I just don't know how to fix this or optimize this. It might be that my mindset is completely wrong and I've taken this in the wrong direction, but I really don't know. It is nice that I at least feel that some bits of the code are as optimized as they can get. But apart from that, I could really use some help. And just a hint, the issue might even be them going to the nearest wall every time, because that's so far. So maybe instead of doing that, we might just say, once you give to the shredder, take five steps up. That might work, right? Because you see that they are not going all the way to the wall again. So perhaps it's a little bit better? It surely seems like it. Okay, now this is ridiculous. <laughs> it worked. But I consider that to be cheating. I normally would guess that we would get like 190, maybe 95 seconds and not 70. That's BS. Also, one solution didn't work, which is this case when they all filtered to the left and their nearest data cubes are the ones above the shredders. So they missed one. But that can be fixed if we simply tell them to take an additional step up. So still, that's only six steps instead of the full ten. That being said, if you have any other idea how to solve this properly, please do let me know. And until then, I'm gonna be here running this code over and over and just simply adding more steps to this bit. Because even one step that we don't make is gonna be eventually like 10 seconds saved. And for some reason even taking 9 steps doesn't work. And that's not 9, that's 8, so I'm an idiot. 
of 9 steps would mean going all the way to the wall. So I take it all back, I don't really know 